Alright troops, this is another one of the days that I wasn't actually intending on filming I intended to just go out for a skate Instead, I decided to do some DIY So I've hardly skated and I've been out about an hour But I got hold of this stuff, basically the UK equivalent of Bondo So we're back at this spot here And I noticed this curb down here with the dropped curb sort of thing And I thought I might be able to make something of that So I did use this stuff, the rub brick, tidied it up a bit, that's all that's left of the rub brick. Yeah, so I started off, I mixed up some of that stuff, filled in the gaps in the curbs, between the curbs even, and I had loads left, I mixed up far too much, so I've just went and done like a little kind of, I suppose you would call it a ramp kind of thing. It's either that or throw it away, I don't like to waste things. So wait for that to set and then I'll give it a wee rub down, smooth it out, clean it, lacquer it. So that's all dry, so a couple of coats, some wax on it and hopefully skate it I don't know, tomorrow or next year or uh, on a deathbed or something. Alright, it's the next day, let's go have a look, see how the curb's looking. It's a bit windy so as soon as I step out of the car you probably won't hear anything. It's gone pretty solid, that'll clean up nicely, hopefully. It's looking pretty good. I'll tell you what we'll do, because I'm not going to film myself like the last time. Sitting there rubbing down for 20 minutes, so instead, we'll do one of these. There we go, looking good. So I've gave it a good rub down, cleaned it with some white spirit, brushed all the dust off it. Once the white spirit dried, put a couple of coats of lacquer on it. I had just enough lacquer left to do two coats and no more, so hopefully that'll be enough. Surely it will be because it'll be getting waxed once it's all set. So we'll leave it at that for now. I'm going to head over to the skate park, which is right there. Let's see if we can zoom in. Yeah, there you go. So I'm going to head over there. And no, I might even do some tricks. What do you think? Think I'll do tricks? I probably won't. I'll probably try. My brush has been working overtime today. The place is a fucking <coughs> hole. I've just spent like 45 minutes sweeping this place, and it's still a mess. This is why I suck at skateboarding, I never concentrate on one thing at a time. I'm going to have to watch that back. That felt pretty good. It felt sketchy because it was sketchy, but it also felt good. That's kind of cheered me up a little bit. The footage has been reviewed and the verdict is in. It's good.
Yeah, I'm definitely dizzy now. <laughs> Yeah, time's up, I've got to go. But that turned into an alright little kind of fun session, so uh, I guess you could say I broke even. Right, it's been an hour or so, it's looking pretty good. Got my wax here, I'm going to use a softer wax for the first coat, it goes on a lot easier. Uh, I've got other stuff that's harder, which seems to be pretty good for the top coat, but we'll just go for a wee. We rub with this to get it started. Look at that difference in colour already. Just shows you how soft the wax is. I mean, look at that, it's like nearly gone already. I need to make more of this. It's literally just tea light candles. I might actually do a video about it when I make the next batch, but all you need is your choice of wax and the bottom cut off a Coke can. So finish this off, off camera. I've ran out of wax, so I'll need to use the harder stuff. But I'm sure it'll do. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Right troops, I'm afraid I'm gonna do something a bit clickbaity and I'm gonna end the video here. However, if you enjoyed this one, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Come back for the next one, because in the next video I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own skate wax. And at the end of that video, there will be a little bit of skating on the your curb spot. I'm not going to tell any lies, it's not anything spectacular, but it's worth a watch. So don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're enjoying my content, go check out my merch shop, link in the description, where you can buy yourself a t-shirt or some stickers. There'll be more stuff added to the shop soon. See you later.